Hi guys, how are you? I've been just running errands. I have um a good amount of words today, but I have a very, very um not very, very long, but a very lengthy word and it's very important i feel like you guys should really listen to it especially those of you guys who have been asking god why me like god why did you choose me and why me and what is the point of all this god like what is my purpose etc like what is the point of going through all this it's very detailed so i'm going to go into details later on about that i will be driving i know a lot of you guys don't like when i drive and i record however i just want to remind you guys that when i'm driving one, I'm not paying attention to my phone. I'm just talking out loud. And it's no different from me listening to music and singing and talking to my kids or talking to God in the car. So I'm not really paying attention to, you know, the phone at all. Okay. I'm not really paying attention to the phone at all. I'm, and it's very therapeutic when I drive. You get what I'm saying? It's like b being on a road trip, talking to your friends in the car. It's no different, you know? Um, but this quick word is about, this is specific and direct. This is about a friendship. Okay, and this may resonate with a lot of people, and we've all been in the situation on both ends, right? But I want to give someone this confirmation that there is a friend from your past, okay? And this may be like a far past friend. It doesn't have to be a recent friend. Like, the way how God showed it to me is there is a friend from your past who is disappointed, and they are disappointed because they are looking at where God is taking you whoever you are they're looking at where God is taking you they're looking at the changes the transitions in your life and they are feeling a bit disappointed because you guys are basically around the same age and they have stayed in that position that they've been in for a very long time and you have elevated to a different position and there's a bit of disappointment not because you're elevating the, the friend the way God shows me the friend is very proud of you okay the friend is disappointed in how they treated you because you are very influential in their life. You are a very good role model in their life. And you are the kind of person that would have helped them elevate to the next level. I'm not talking about money-wise or friend. No, but mentally, emotionally, spiritually, you are that friend that everybody desires to have. Okay, and listen, we've all been a bad friend once in our life. You know, I've been a bad friend in my far past to maybe a couple of my friends. And I could admit that, you know, and I've, I've asked God for forgiveness. I was not perfect. But as you grow and as you mature, you start to learn and you start to realize, wow, you know, I have to, you know, I have to be the person I want to attract. You get what I'm saying? And there's some friends that you, when you guys, basically when you guys hung around each other, you guys were on the same level. Like, you guys may have been clubbing together. You guys may have been partying together, smoking together, drinking together, doing all types of things together that was not, you know, that was not positive. You get what I'm saying? Maybe just hanging around, not working, and you know what I mean? Things that were not, was not bettering your life. Things that was not elevating you. And in the process of these friendships, you guys had turmoils, ups and downs, and falling outs, and all of that. There may have been talking behind each other's backs. There may have been lies. There may have been gossip. Things like that. But you were the one in this friendship who consistently was genuine. You were the one in this friendship who really wanted out of this type of environment and situation. Not out of the friendship, but more like out of the type of lifestyle you both were living. You were you were probably the one that was like, hey, we got to do better. Hey, we got to change. Hey, we got to level up. You were probably the one that was trying to motivate them to get to the next level. You were the type of one that was trying to tell them to go back to school. You were the type of one that's like, hey, let's start a business. Let's do this. Like It's like you, whatever ideas that came to you, you were trying to share with this friend because it's kind of like you're trying to let them know that we can't stay in this funk for a long time. We're getting older. We got to do better things with our life. And what ended up happening was this friend was holding you back what ended up happening was every time this friend was around you you were slowed down you started falling back into certain behaviors that you're trying to stop right and ever since you cut this friend off or these friends off you notice that your lifestyle changed. You notice that, you know, you know that you were able to go back to school or you notice that certain things has changed. And then now it's kind of like when you, when you, I don't know if you've reconnected with this friend or not, but it's kind of like the way God showed to me is now when you communicate with this person or if you saw this person or checked up on them or whatever you did, they're basically still in the same position they were in back then. Like nothing has changed. Like they have not went back to school. They have not did anything to basically better themselves they're still in the same boat and this person is looking at you and they're very 
proud of you, they're not hating on you, okay? Because God showed me they're not hating on you. This friend needs prayer. Because there is a spirit, a stagnation spirit that you have fought, that you have decided to break, a curse that you have broken. There is something that is lingering in this friend's life and it's, it's tied to the family. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's tied to the family. Even though you guys are not, we don't have the same, you don't have the same, you know, you may not have the same family and all that. It's time, it's tied to the family. But at the same time, you chose to fight and break it. And they, they were not strong enough at the time. And it's kind of like they don't know how to fight. They don't know how to fight through it. And they now that they're growing and they're older and they understand spirits. They understand stagnation. They under It's like when you get older and you start maturing, you realize something's not right. You're like, I shouldn't be this age you know, still going through this, something's not right. You start to, you know, receive wisdom and stuff. But then you also think back to the people who are very much going through what you were going through and looking at them today and seeing where they are. And it's kind of like, God, I wish I was a good friend to this person because where this person is today, I want to know how they broke it. I want to know how they fought through this. I want to know how they did all that. But I, I can't, because I was not a good friend and I messed up my chance to be in this person's life I don't have anyone or I have not met anyone that is capable, like that friend is capable to help me in this situation, okay? Now, I'm not saying reach out to the person and amend things. I'm not saying that because God never specifically said that. But what he is saying is this person is very much disappointed in how their life is going. And he very much wants you to pray for this person because you do have the authority. God has given you the authority to pray for people right you are a child of god you are anointed you have that you have you are powerful when it comes to prayer and when it comes to what it is that you are manifesting why are you powerful because anything you ask god for god is able to help you with as long as you are obedient and as long as it's according to his will so if you are praying for someone and asking god to uplift someone to help someone god is definitely going to help them do you get what i'm saying some people are not strong enough to pray for themselves a lot of people are not strong enough to pray for themselves why because they lack faith so that's where you come along and you say, God, I'm willing to pray for this person in hopes that you can restore, help restore some faith in this person so they can drop on their knees and they can pray to you for themselves. But I'm here to start it. I want to start it. I want you to encourage them, Lord. I want you to help them, Lord. So you have to be the one, you know, to be able to help this person through prayer. Okay, this friend is very much not hating on you. This friend is very much proud of you and this friend is very much happy for you. But this friend is very much also going through a lot of regrets that they have let you go or that what they have done to you in the past. They wish that the wisdom they have today, they had back then. They wish that the heart they have today, the mentality they have today, they had back then. That's what they wish because you are someone that is hard to come by. You are someone that is hard to find. And people need people like you in their lives because you are a motivator. You are an encourager. You are like a soul brother, a soul sister to a lot of people. And trust me, it may not be that just one friend. There's people that are looking at you right now that are realizing, you know what? No matter what we went through in the past, that person was a good friend. You get what I'm saying? That person was a good friend. And I wish that we could have just, you know, hashed things out and really just rekindle things and did things the right way. It's You know, so there's always that. So continue. Anyway, so just continue to be that good role model. I resonate with this too. But I know a lot of you guys also resonate with this because that's why God told me to share it. Um... I don't even know who it would be for my situation because I have a bunch of friends in the past. Just like you guys may not know who it is. But the point of the matter is just pray for anyone that you had a friendship with in the past. Pray for people. You get what I'm saying? And um, In this season, it's really important to forgive. Okay. So I want to put this confirmation out. Love you guys. Bye.